Oh, hey, lads, this is Danny here today, bringing you a lovely video on why the derivative of log of x, why is that equal to 1 over x ln of 10? So, before we begin, please drop a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So, this is very similar to ln of x. You're gonna, you are going to have to use the same tools from before, that being the limit definition and Euler's number represented by a limit. Right, so let's do our limit definition straight away. We're going to basically substitute log of x as as our f of x so once you do that you're gonna have an expression that looks like this so these are substitutions that we made notice we got a negative over here so we can combine these two logs into one function and when we do that we're gonna have a division so you are, you are gonna have x plus h divided by x so we're gonna divide x divided by x and h divided by x and then we're gonna multiply to remove this denominator by one divided by h so when you do that, you are going to have an expression that resembles this. At this point on, you know, there's something that you have to you have to note. We know that, you know, if it's not stated, logs are usually base of 10. So we're, that's a very important thing. So then we have to use the change of base formula. So we're going to have to rewrite it by this expression over here. And notice the base of 10 is in the denominator. We're going to remove that by multiplying by 1 divided by ln of 10. When you do that, you get rid of this denominator and we got two scalar quantities in 1 divided by h and 1 divided by ln of 10. At this point, our goal is to make it resemble this Euler's number so it basically becomes solvable. So at that in that in 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 this case, h divided of x could be we're going to rewrite it as v h divided by x v, and then by that token, h will be equal to v times x. So we're going to do our necessary substitutions. Notice we don't we don't have h anymore, so it's going to become a v term, right? And this is what we'll be left with. And we've got to make it resemble this. So I see something right away. 1 divided by v. We can move this as an exponent using the logs of logarithmics. And when we do that, we're going to have something that looks like this. We're going to move then the limit as v approaches 0 after the ln. We can do that. And then we have something that looks like this, which resembles. It's basically the same thing as this. So we can substitute our Euler's number in, taking the ln of the Euler's number will just be equal to, to 1. And what you're really going to be left with over here is 1 divided by x ln of 10. And that's why the derivative of log of x is equal to 1 divided by x ln of 10. So if this video has helped you a lot, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you a lot later. 